Today we're going to be looking at the most beautiful Bible that my eyes have ever seen. And uh, we're just <laughs> I have a few things to say about it, a few pros, a few cons, um, really only one con, but we're going to look at that as well. Welcome to Petra Publications. I'm Davis and I review books um, and obviously Bibles on this channel. If you've been following me for a little while now, you'll notice that this is a completely different set. This is a different microphone. Well, it's the same microphone, but it'll sound different. Um, I'm uh, in a different place. Lighting is not as good. Please be patient with me as uh, the Lord has led me in a completely different direction and I have followed and here I am and I'll be here for a few weeks. So what Bible are we reviewing? This is the ESV Crossway Heirloom Legacy Bible. Yeah, I'm reading this because it's so long. Exclusive edition, goatskin in navy blue. And it is absolutely stunning. I, I, from the moment I took it out of the box, I have been in love with this Bible. It has been my only Bible, I mean, my main use Bible um, for the last couple of months. And I don't think I will ever use a different style of Bible. The single column, the wide margins, everything about this Bible, I just adore. And it is wonderful. Three ribbons. I know some people aren't a fan of ribbons. I like them a lot. I use them for my expositorial reading. And uh, without them, I would be completely lost and I would be sticking in random bookmarks anyway. So very nice, good ribbons. We'll get into that in a little bit. But um, this is an Evangelical Bible exclusive. Um, Crossway and, and Evangelical Bible kind of collaborated to put this Bible out. I love Evangelical Bible. Um, they're not paying me, or Crossway is not paying me either. Nobody's paying me. I'm just reviewing this Bible um, because I love it so much. So like I said, a couple pros, a couple cons. Uh, we'll uh, look at both sides of the coin. So let's, uh, let's begin with this. Okay, so when you first get the box, it's going to be just this beautiful black box with this art gilding around the edge. ESV, English Standard Version, um, Heirloom, Bible Legacy Edition. On the side, you're going to have the Crossway logo, and it's going to say basically that same information. And then on the back, uh, it gives all the information about the Bible. I didn't zoom in or anything because we're pretty much going to touch on all of this in the review, so I didn't feel like that was necessary. On the bottom, you're going to have um, more information relating to the Bible. Let's go ahead and open it up and see inside. So because it's an evangelical Bible, you're going to, of course, get their card that they put in every Bible. And you're also going to get, they always sign the invoice. I always love that. And the first thing you're going to notice is it comes wrapped in this beautiful felt stuff which protects the Bible in shipping and also in storage if you wanted to store it somewhere. But here's the Bible. Now, the first thing you'll notice is it looks kind of black. It doesn't really look navy blue. That depends on the light. Um, depending on what color light you're in, it's going to look different. So here it looks black, but trust me, depending on the light, it can really look blue. And I, I mean really blue. So it really just depends. Um, let's take a look at this leather. Now, the front cover I have sort of played around with and messed with, and it's very supple now. Before I broke it in, it was really stiff, and I'll show you that in a little bit on the back leather. But um, right here, you can see I've kind of worked with this leather. I don't suggest everybody do this to their Bible. It's probably not the best for it, but just to show how supple it is and how easy it is to work with, here's the back leather. So you'll see it's way stiffer. I can't roll it or anything. It's just you know, it's a bit, it's a nice piece of leather. It's just so thick that I can't really use it the same way as I do the front cover. Um, so if you work with it, you break it in, it's really great. And of course, like every other modern Bible, you'll have the introduction page, the address, addressing page, whatever you call that. Um, marriages, births, deaths, um, getting into the front of the Bible, their title page, um, the in, uh, contents, and you'll see the art gilding on the pages there where it's blue. You'll see it better as we open both sides of the Bible. Look at how beautiful this setup is here with the way the margins sit and everything. It's just so beautiful. You have enough room to write. You have enough room to make notes. 
um, to do little symbols. I like to do that on the ins inside margin. Um, let me show you this spot right here. So here's an example of some notes that I took in the corner over here, some symbols in the inner margin, um, the art gilding on the outside. It just is beautiful. And I, I, <laughs> I don't know how else you would describe such a Bible. Um, and let me, let me read real quick. One thing that the the Bible set or the box says on it, and it says that it's modeled after the Renaissance ideal of a perfect page and features finely uh, tuned proportions. And so they based it on old old books. And uh, sure enough, there's some more of that art gilding. But I I got to see a very old book in a museum a few weeks ago. And it had the same proportions as this book. So here's uh, the ribbons. Very nice blue color. Blue is my favorite color. Fun fact. And so, uh, yeah, love the blue. <laughs> Very high quality ribbons in my opinion. So let me get into um, one of the cons. This is the main con. It's one of the only ones that I'm aware of at this present time. Um, I've only been using the Bible about a you know a couple months, so I don't know for sure. But let me show you this. The paper quality is great. It's printed in the Netherlands. It is you know it's not cheap paper, but it's so thin that any kind of humidity or water at all, it's just going to ruin the page. And if you bend the page, watch me right here. I actually ironically did this as I was trying to show you a spot in my Bible. Bend a page. Look at this. Look at Romans now. And <laughs> so this is what I'm talking about. You'll never get that to lay flat again. And I get like every book is going to be like that. But I feel like if the paper was a little bit thicker, it wouldn't be as bad as it is in this Bible. And so the same thing with humidity. Because the pages are so thin, if you just hold a page for too long, it'll start rippling. And again, I get like any book will do that, but this is to an extreme effect. And so you see even as it's sitting here on the table that the room may be a little bit humid and the pages have kind of warped a little bit. And here's a spot where it's kind of hard to see it on camera, but where I accidentally spit a little bit on my Bible and it ruined that page of the Psalms. And so I, I hate that. And I, I just feel like if the pages had been a little bit thicker, some of that could have been avoided if you, because if you get any water on it at all and you try to wipe it off or anything, it just smears and it ruins every page. And so it's extremely frustrating. So that's the main con is just the pages. And I get, you know, if you made them thicker, your Bible is going to be thicker. So, you know, there are ups and downs to that as well. But it just seems to me like, they could have done a little bit better with the paper. See, there's Romans again. Man, that just stinks. And that will forever, for the next 50 years, as I use this Bible, that's going to um, be there. So that's the only con I see. And it causes also, uh, kind of forces you not to be able to carry it with you the way I carry my um, thin line. With my thin line, I just throw it in my backpack and call it good. This one has to be in your hands because if those pages get messed up, it's ruined. See, there's another spot in 2 Thessalonians that I messed up. Um, so that's the main con. The pages, otherwise, they're so soft, it's unbelievable. It's just like feeling um, high-quality cotton, basically. I don't know. It's, it's really soft. In the back, you're going to find this really great concordance. And uh, very helpful, very... Uh, full. So here's my little, sorry, my <laughs> my little note taking thing there, and I'll include that. That's not mine originally, but it is uh, something I can show you. The maps also very good. Um, I like the paper. I'm not a huge fan of gloss paper, but the maps are helpful in the back. And then you have these blank sheets in the back if you want to take notes on there as well. So that is the Bible for you, and I'll jump back into camera position. <laughs> So those are a few thoughts on this wonderful Bible, and uh, obviously I was running at full throttle there for a little bit, but so hopefully you could um, understand what I was even talking about. A few things I didn't mention, and this is one of the reasons why I chose this Bible, was that uh, it is stitched around the edge. It's got uh, 
for raised hubs. That's not one of the reasons why I chose it. But the stitching is, I, I really wanted something that was stitched and not glued. Very um, useful feature there. And then the other thing I couldn't show in that angle was how floppy the Bible is. And uh, we always joke about how um, the floppier the Bible, the higher quality it is. So if that, if that means anything to you, this is a great option for you. Well, hopefully this review was helpful to you. Um, if you were looking into possibly buying this Bible, I strongly recommend that you do. I know that it's kind of pricey, but um, if I may kind of poke you a little bit, um, how much did you spend on your last iPhone? Um, <laughs> that's sort of the, the standard by which I live. And so <laughs> if you could spend that kind of money on an iPhone, which I know is much, much more than how much this Bible costs. The priorities is what I'm saying, priorities. So I do strongly encourage uh, and recommend this Bible. It is really great. I will never use a different kind of Bible as far as the setup is concerned. Love the goat skin, love the inner liner, which is calf skin. I didn't talk about that either, but the inner liner is calf skin and uh, very high quality and I love it very much. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, if it was, please comment that down below and I, because I would love to know that it was helpful to you. Um, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to put those in the comments below or uh, if it's something more private, you can email me or you can reach me on my Twitter page. I believe that is all. Um, I hope that you are doing well this Lord's Day and I will, Lord willing, see you again very soon. God bless. Bye.